former college student says she is using the worst experience of her life to help others. Megan Conrads was kidnapped by three men while walking in downtown St. Cloud in 2020. She was sexually assaulted multiple times before she escaped. WCCO's John Lortzen talked with Megan about how she survived and the message she has for other women. As a student at St. Cloud State, Megan Conrads enjoyed school, sports, and spending time with people she loves. I lived with some of my really best friends. Um, I loved it. I mean, I loved being with my friends all the time. On the night of October 18th, 2020, Megan was walking downtown to meet her friends when the unthinkable happened. Out of nowhere, three men forced her into a car and began driving away. They were pouring Hennessy down my throat, forcing it down my throat. And at that time, I'm like, I'm not drinking it. They're like, you're drinking it. You're doing what we say. They drove her to a St. Cloud Park and pushed her onto a slide. Her attackers were swearing at her. I remember just looking around. I'm like, these are my last moments alive. There's, there's no way out of this. I just stayed there holding on to my pants for dear life. I just, I'm like, this is not about to happen. Megan was sexually assaulted by two of the men on the slide and then forced back into the car. That's where the third man assaulted her, while the others recorded the rape on their phones. They were all just so happy, so excited about it, and almost proud. I mean, they were recording it. They were so proud of what they were doing. Eventually, Megan escaped and ran to a house where she got help. A friend took her to the hospital where doctors did a rape test and collected DNA. I was like, is this real? Like, you never expect it to be you. You don't. For me, it was mental. It was a lot of mental damage. You know, as a father, you're supposed to protect, <clears throat> excuse me, um, your kids and your wife and um, my, my heart sunk. Um, it, was, it was really hard. Time went by, and Megan started to think her attackers would get away. Then one day, a St. Cloud detective called and told her they had made arrests. I just froze. I looked at my friends, and we all just screamed. We cried together. We hugged each other. 25-year-old Sahal Abdi Hassan pleaded guilty to criminal sexual conduct and received 15 years in prison. He testified against his friends at trial. Muhammad Hassan Abdi received 27 and a half years in prison, and Abdurrahim Omar Ali got 30 years behind bars. I told myself I'm not letting this happen to anyone else. Megan testified during the trials, and her mom Wendy was in court to watch. And I just needed to be there every day, as hard as it was to listen to. And when she was testifying, I was there, and she had somebody to look at while she was talking. I'm just so thankful that she was as strong as she was. The biggest thing that Megan was able to do was prove that what these three monsters did to her um, did not define her. She defined them and put them away for a long time. From the night she was assaulted to today, Megan has relied on her family and friends for support. She's making progress, and the courage she's shown has carried over into her new career as a firefighter. I'm not just doing it for justice for myself, I'm doing it for justice for all the girls who have been through it, all the girls who didn't get this justice. It's, I'm fighting for everyone. You know, I wanna use the worst thing that happened to me to help others. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. A strong, brave young woman. Megan's family wants to thank St. Cloud Police, Stearns County Prosecutors, and the BCA for helping her get justice. Megan says she is willing to help anyone who has been through this and needs someone to talk to.